Hi Founder fans, Jason here and today's founder is Josiah Quincy. Now before we get started, I just want to note I moved the camera here because I'm still feeling out the new set. Please leave in the comments if you like the camera here or over there. Still waiting on the new webcam. Should be here any day, I would hope. Anyway, today's founder is Josiah Quincy. Josiah Quincy graduated from Harvard with a master's degree in 1766 and immediately started publishing articles talking about how unfair British taxation was. He had a quick wit and a firm writing style that attracted many to him and he became a leading patriot of his day despite his youthful age. A few years later after the Boston Massacre, well, the patriots wanted to prove they weren't backcountry bumpkins and they were people of law and order. So they had a trial for the soldiers who committed the Boston Massacre and famously John Adams successfully defended these soldiers. But what's often overlooked is John Adams worked together in partnership with Josiah Quincy. Also it just so happens on the other side of the argument was Robert Treat Payne who would sign the Declaration of Independence and Josiah's older brother Samuel Quincy. Either way, Josiah Quincy worked hard with John Adams to get the, tr the soldiers from the Boston Massacre off, with the exception of two of them who were branded on their hands, uh, but primarily they were not sentenced to death, which was pretty good news for those soldiers, and for these two young lawyers trying to prove their worth. Now, unfortunately for Josiah Quincy, he was never a particularly healthy man. So in 1773, he traveled down to South Carolina because at the time it was thought that uh, to cure certain ailments, the different weather could help. So he traveled down to South Carolina and this had two very interesting results. First of all, he kept a diary of his journal, which helps modern history students like you and I to look back at what life was like throughout the South, particularly in South Carolina in the years leading up to the American Revolution. Furthermore, Josiah Quincy traveled from Boston, which the rest of the colonies knew Boston was in some trouble at this point, but he was kind of like a traveling revolutionary preacher, uh, traveling through the South into South Carolina, telling the people who would listen exactly how bad things had actually gotten. While these people would have read news in the papers, getting a first-hand account from a Bostonian was a very hardening reality, if you will. Now, as for Quincy, uh, Josiah would go to London for a year, uh, attempting to, as many others had tried, negotiate some kind of settlement with the king and parliament to get things back to the way they used to be. After all, this was one of the men who defended the soldiers from the Boston Massacre, so his opinion would be taken seriously, and it was taken seriously, but to no avail. Now, Quincy decides to travel back to Boston. Uh, unfortunately, while he's on the ship, he has no way of knowing this, but the the Battle of Lexington and Concord breaks out, and the Revolutionary War begins while he's on board. And unfortunately, the illness that had always plagued him got the best of him just a few miles within seeing distance from Massachusetts. And he would die within sight of his original homeland that he would have no way of knowing had begun a war for independence that he played a major role in starting. So that's the life of Josiah Quincy. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like, make sure you subscribe, put out new videos five days a week, and let me know what you think about the new set. If you like the camera here, you like it back where it was the other day, I'll probably pop it around the next few days. So, like I said, let me know. I could really appreciate your input. Thanks again, and I'll be back with a new founder for you tomorrow.